Hello and welcome back to Michigan Hobby Hunter. Today we have something really interesting. Nice little piece of history and I hope you like it. Let's check it out. So what we have here is a plane axe. That's right. It can hammer. It can plane. And it's got a nail puller. Let's open it up and check it out. So here we go with the plain X. We get our little brochures. The box is actually the display. It folds right here and this tucks back here, making a nice little display for it. Obviously with these open for anybody to grab. Oh, sorry about that. These are uh, some older model if you want to look up the patent number you can't because it says patent pending you can see the greenish on there that's the nickel tarnishing so these are brand spanking new never been used we have the hammer we have a plane we have the axe here's the nail puller on the handle it says plane axe company providence rhode island Oh, let's take a look at the brochure. Do you know what these planes are used for? If you do, hurry up and leave a comment because I'm getting ready to take a look at this brochure that comes with it. And I will let you know what's in there. So while you're uh, over there leaving a comment, feel free to check out that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell if you want to be up to date on future uploads. Okay. Looks like we got a little sales poster in here. I have to say, I, I, I really like their logo. It's got a plane, eliminates tool switching, axe, designed for deep penetration, hammer, drop forge, tempered tool steel, nail puller, non-slip eye. And here you go. Speed shingle laying with no added effort. That's right, these were designed for putting on wood shingles to houses. So these would trim up the sides, hammer them on, you know, if you got a split one, there you go. So that's what they're for. Unfortunately, from what I found out from the plane collector on YouTube, which he's, he restores one. You guys got to check it out. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find it. I'll link it in the description. He's really good for doing restorations and uh, teaching you how to do stuff. But he restores one of these and he gives a little bit of information. But the only information he gives I found is in this pamphlet. So well, let's continue on with that. So we got speed shingle laying with no effort. Plane anywhere, flat surfaces, around corners, horizontally, vertically. No need for tool changing. Set it for planing, now chop, hammer, pull nails. It's lightweight, locked in handle, balanced design, drop forged steel. Economically priced. Yeah, it is, there's no price on there. So it's free, right? That's not what I paid for it. Do it yourself, the homeowner's economy tool. So they're trying to market this to not only a general carpenter or a handyman, they're trying to market it all over the place with this. This is really cool, but they were designed to just do wood shingles. Um, but that's really interesting how they, how they marketed that. So it's for everybody, it's for everybody. Okay, here we got the information here. And I'll see if I can get a good picture of this and put that in there. Plain Axe Corporation of Providence, Rhode Island is now manufacturing for distribution to the hardware and building trade. First in a series of multiple purpose tools called the Plain Axe. The inventor designed the axe to fill the desire that has been long felt in the building industry to the carpenter and to the do-it-yourself craftsman. So I'll put a nice picture on this up there. And we have this little 
We've got a little staining on the corner where it was tucked on the nickel. The craftsmanship of this plain axe is high quality and guaranteed in accordance with the manufacturer's commercial standard. This tool is drop forged from high grade carbon steel and cadmium plated for rust prevention in accordance with the federal specifications QQ-P-416 Type 1 Class B. So there you have it my friends. This nice little piece of history was made Tuck this in here. This nice little piece of history was made just as the time that wooden shingles were on its way out and asphalt shingles were on their way in. You know, as you can see from what we got going on now on roofs, we're either steel or asphalt. And we're trying to pull out asphalt now, so I would have to say this is 50s. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you would uh, clean this uh, green off this finish here. I'm going to leave it the way it is because that is the way it is. These are brand new. They've been stored and all oxidation is from them being stored. The box is in perfect condition. A little bit of red from there. So... We're going to slip these guys back in here. Isn't that cool, my friends? Isn't that cool? Now, I paid a pretty nice penny for these online. You probably won't even find them online. If you have a chance, pick them up. They're a nice little piece of history. And uh, that's one of a kind right there. I don't think they ever made anything with a plane and a hammer and all that stuff in there. Pretty interesting my opinion so I'm gonna put her back away and put her back on the shelf to be enjoyed for several several years well my friends I would like to thank you for watching Michigan Hobby Hunter if you haven't please hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell and uh, please leave me a comment let me know what you think about this one